Hey, Jamily. Okay, so I had to go put some makeup on to make myself, like, stop crying. Um, because if I continue crying, I'm going to end up doing it all day. I don't know if any of, many of you know who Christina Grimmie is or who she was. But it's somebody that Sarah and I grew very, um, I guess you'd say, a very strong bond with. That we grew to absolutely adore and love. And, um... Whew. She was killed last night at her meet and greet after her concert. Um, she was on tour with Before You Exit and they had traveled to Orlando and she had sent out her snap telling everybody to come out to the venue and uh, come see the show at 730. And most people recognize her now from being on The Voice, but Sarah and I started following her and watching her music in 2009. Yeah, she was right too. Yeah, we thought, we mistakenly thought she was our cousin, my cousin's girlfriend, Tessa, at the time. And so we clicked on the video thinking, Tessa doesn't sing. <laughs> and it wasn't Tessa, it was Christina Grimmie. And we fell in love with her from there forward. Like, we just started watching everything that she put out. Um, we actually got to meet her uh, in 2013. And she was genuinely as sweet as she is on camera. She took the time to hang out with the fans that were there um, during the meet and greet. She sat and, oh, it was a thing that was back there by the fence. It's not a wire, it's a big piece of metal. Um, she sat and talked with us and really took the time with each individual fan, but then also hung out with us as a group, took some really silly photos, just was a genuinely good hearted, you know, wholesome, humble young lady. And, um, when you think about it, like she's literally six months older than my stepson DJ. And DJ, I can't even imagine something happened to DJ. And this young lady was 22 years old and shot down as she's living her dream. Just living her dream. Loving music, loving God, writing about the Lord, writing about the things that she loves in life and singing about that and just being genuine and you don't have a lot of that in this world and somebody came and snuffed that out and it just oh it makes me angry and sad and just to know that she's never going to write another song that she's never going to perform another performance that she's never going to you know shine that smile down on somebody else or make somebody else's day better um because somebody was selfish a fan who was obsessed, who wanted her to himself and couldn't have that, ended her life and took out that light that was shining for everybody to see and he selfishly took it away. So. Water. Water. <laughs> just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Oh, 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 oh. I just got to swim. <laughs> just kidding. Pay attention to your water. Sarah's gonna overflow it. No. <laughs> Getting water. Getting water. story here. Christina Grimmie, known to many from her appearance there on NBC shows, NBC's show The Voice, was gunned down after giving a concert in Florida. Now, according to police, the suspect had a lot of different weapons on him. Casey Stiebel has more. Christina Grimmie, a former Voice contestant, had just performed at the Plaza Live Theater and was signing autographs after the show with a handful of concert goers still milling around and witnessed the shooting. Police are still looking into how Louisville was able to sneak multiple weapons past the venue's security guards. Somebody this Sorry, Jamley. Um, I said I wasn't going to cry anymore today, but um, 
just finished watching the news and the fact that it was on our on our news here our local channel just shows how much of a reach this had um with christina being gone now and um, i think it hit me harder than i expected like we've been following her like i said earlier in the video since 2009 and i think what got me more than anything else was that my oldest son is the same age as her like as a mom as a parent to say goodbye to your child because of somebody else's greediness and the way she was taken was horrific i would never ever not even on my worst enemy would i ever ever wish something like that on them there is so much evil and so much cruelty and so much hate in this world and i don't understand why like i don't i can't fathom it I go and I watch certain YouTube videos and then you go into the comment section to maybe meet some new people or, you know, find people that have the same kind of views as you or whatever. But you get into the comment section on most videos nowadays and it's just spewing hate. There's people that are angry and hateful and disgusting in all the different comment sections, not just on ours. I've gotten to the point now where, thank goodness, the hate has really died down. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that we don't feed into it and we don't allow it on the channel. So, of course, my comment section is um, filtered and it is sent through me first. And a lot of it has died off. Like, a lot of the people who were repeatedly sending stuff, because their comments weren't making it onto the page um, and onto the channel, they've stopped. And I can say that I'm thankful for that. But I'm also terrified. Where does, where does our future on YouTube go? And what does it hold? And am I really willing and ready to put ourselves in a position and at risk um, in the way that Christina opened herself up and adored her friends, and which is what she called everybody, her friends slash fans, and she made it into the word friends. But her friends were people that she adored and that adored her. And then I think about people asking us to do meet and greets and people asking us to do meetups. And and I know that we don't have a huge fan base. Like, good Lord, she had over 2 million followers on YouTube. And then, and then some outside of YouTube. People who know her from The Voice and people who know her from her most current work with the Humane Society of the United States. And it's just... To, just blows my mind that somebody so deranged who was so obsessed with her killed her this wasn't somebody who hated her this wasn't somebody who you know did anything other than obsess over this young lady who was so fixated on her that he killed her he killed her out of a deranged feeling and I know this is a long rant, but you guys, it terrifies me as a parent with two amazing kids, you know, here that live with me and a son who is out there in the world now. My son DJ is out there in the world and he is an amazing young man. And then I have Taylor and Sarah here and it terrifies me. What does the future hold for my amazing kids? My three kids who are out in this world who are growing into their own what does it hold for them and what does it hold for my grandchildren in the future with as much hate as there is now what's it going to look like in another five ten years is there even going to be something salvageable left i think it's us as a community as a society we need to step up we need to start promoting positivity we need to start promoting security and safety and we need as a community to end the hate don't sit behind a keyboard and type stuff that you wouldn't say to your child or to your mother or to your sibling or to your cousin, to anybody within your family or a friend. If you wouldn't say it to them or you wouldn't want somebody saying it to them, then don't write it out on a keyboard. Do not post it under somebody else's video. Do not be disgusting and hateful and mean and sick. Start talking positive. Start you know, feeding into the things you love in life. Start nurturing the good in you. 
and the good in your family and then the good in your friends. Start promoting that in, in the YouTube community and in any community for that matter, whether it be on YouTube or whether it be in on Facebook or on any social media platform. Pull that positivity out, you guys. Um, because an amazing young woman is dead. She's dead because somebody's brain didn't work right. And I know there's a lot of people that talk about gun laws and gun safety and, and all this crap that has to do with guns. But the fact of the matter is this man didn't walk into a gun shop and purchase a gun legally. He didn't walk in there and go through all the steps that are required and fill out an application and go through all the things that you're supposed to go through to get a gun in any place. This guy got hold of these weapons illegally. He was carrying weapons that he should not have had on him. And on top of that, he planned this out. This wasn't something that was a spur of the moment thing. This man traveled out of his own city and followed her to where she was performing just so that he could carry out this act of killing her. So gun laws, yes. Should they be stricter? Absolutely. Should they be completely taken away and have guns illegal? No. Be and there's a lot of different want things behind it. I've always been somebody who loved going out and target practicing. I've always loved being able to handle a weapon and have that on me as a safety thing because criminals here don't get guns by legal means. Hence the reason why they're called criminals and why it's called illegal. So there are laws. They're just not strict enough. And I think there needs to be a lot stricter laws to, to being allowed to own a weapon. And because um, it's not the guns that kill people. It's the deranged idiots behind that gun's trigger that make the choice to pull it. So always keep that in mind. And... Will we be doing any kind of big YouTube events? No. I made that decision earlier when I heard about Christina and I said, I will never ever go to a big event. I will never ever set up, you know, any sort of meet and greet without having any sort of proper security team on board and doing things in a manner that would be absolutely safe. And if that angers anybody or that upsets anybody, I'm sorry. And this is definitely a long rant, so I'm going to end it right here. Please, everybody, just keep in mind and keep your minds and your hearts and your prayers out to Christina Grimmie's family. Not to us. We're okay. We're perfectly okay. Heartbroken, yes. We're fine. But send your prayers and your well wishes and your hearts out to Christina Grimmie's family and to her fans that witnessed her murder. Um... Because that's something you never forget. And to her brother, who was her hero. Marcus Grimmie, you're an amazing man. And I am so privileged and honored to say that we've gotten to meet you and your sister. And know that she was an amazing human being. And taken too soon. And you're a hero for stopping that man from hurting anybody else. So, you guys, as sad of a video as this is, and if you're sending prayers and well wishes out to Christina and her family, definitely give this video that thumbs up. And if you guys are new and you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button. Come back. See us again tomorrow. We vlog it every day. Whether things are good, bad, or sometimes even boring. <laughs>